What's up, guys? Today is March 25th, Wednesday. I came across a report from Reuters. It's by David French and Anirban Sen. I hope I said that right. If I didn't, I apologize. Uh, stating that the very popular stock trading app Robinhood is looking to give pre-market IPO access to their users once their IPO is set uh, to launch sometime uh, within the coming weeks. Now, if you're new to investing, an IPO is initial public offering. It's when a private business um, offers the opportunity to the public to buy shares or basically stock of their uh, company which would make that business a publicly traded company now. Uh, traditionally, large investment institutions have first access before the public to IPOs. Uh, businesses that are launching their IPOs tend to allocate a certain amount of shares to them, given the first access. And a lot of people say it gives them an advantage because usually they get a cheaper price than when the public buys them on the first day of trading. Uh, according to the report, in 2020, last year, 36% was the first day average increase of stocks to debut on the market. So let's just break it down real, real quick. Let's just say um, I have a business, and um, as of right now, it goes to a large investment firm. I'm allocating, let's say, 1,000 shares at $10 a share. Now, when it, by the time it gets to the public, when they are able to trade for it, it's now like 30 bucks a share. So obviously the large investment firm made pretty good amount of money first day and not, you know, they can sell if they want, you know, that's just how it works currently. Uh, Robinhood is working on a way for the average basic people or not basic, but average people that are on their app uh, to buy IPO of other companies, which can be much more, which is a much more uphill battle than buying their own IPO first, because obviously if Robinhood is doing their, own business they can set their own uh rules and how they want to issue the ipo now the reason why it's going to be uphill battle for Robinhood, they need to negotiate with other companies with the companies and their brokerages in agreement of how many shares they can get and, and sell and also get the approval of u.s regu regulators uh to rob his advantage though they can come back and say well we have 13 million users with i quote a major pool of investor demand um, if Robinhood is very least to announce that they have pulled this off before the IPO launches, it could definitely drive the price up for one. And two, I think people are going to go to it because Robinhood could be the first one to allow the public to purchase basically pre-market IPOs. Um, Robinhood's current evaluation is at $50 billion, reportedly, I should say. It's not, um, it's not a public knowledge in a sense. Uh, oh, no, official word on it, I should say. And again, their IPO is coming in the next uh, few weeks, so we shall see. If you guys uh, are interested in joining Robinhood, uh, before all this stuff happens, I have a link down below. You get free stock when you sign up. And there's some other links to other brokerages in case you have some bias against Robinhood with everything that happened with GameStop uh, a couple months ago. So... If you're also new to the channel, appreciate you guys hit the subscribe button, bringing content like this every single week from investment news to crypto news to uh, stimulus news to news for small businesses. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, peace.